a twice convicted drug smuggler. Them take us in a port like and tell we say we must respect rehabilitation. We come out with the final and bama. And I look out 53 anytime now. I'm not supposed to start telling them my business again. Wagwan EMT family and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all having a wonderful day. So coming up in this video we have a Pops YG who has now been released from prison and the first thing him say him I go get a new whip so people didn't feel watch out for that. And also we have Mr. Vegas who applauds Mr. PM Holness says he inspired to have more than 28 accounts and also people want to kill a reacts to what Mr. Vegas said about applauding PM Holness and also other persons reacted to that as well so we're gonna get down into it shortly but just to subscribe and turn the post notification bell so you don't miss another upload. So Pops YG resurfaced on the internet a week after being locked up by police in Trelawney. In newly circulating videos, the flamboyant TikToker talks about his bad experience behind bars and the things he will be doing to make sure he does not return to jail in the future. So as per reports, the teen who recently celebrated a birthday in August and is best known for showing off his bends and large amounts of cash on the app got a arrested and charged by Trelawney police officers last Thursday, October 3, 2024. So the arrest was made after lottery scamming content and a large amount of cash was found at a location where he was staying in the parish. The arrest happened just days after the hometown boss shared a video on TikTok of himself after seemingly being accosted by police officers who were seen walking away in the video clip so on the other hand weeks ago a video went viral on tiktok showing pops yg in handcuffs as he was questioned by police officers following his latest run-in with the law pops yg did a tiktok live to explain to his followers what had happened to him and what the experience was like in his usual comical behavior so check this out viral so report because then can go lock me up and I know when I get locked up for. So I sense then can go teach me. And you see some of them boy up on the media when I rate the thing to. I don't rate to nothing. I don't go tell them to suck on them at the end. Because it makes sense. Because it makes sense. As I jump out of jail, I go find the bomber. And that I tell them. They lock me up as I come out and go find one bomber. I look out 353 anytime now. I'm not supposed to start telling them my business again. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm not supposed to start telling them my business again. So my EMT family, there is a other video, but I don't have that one to show you. But in that other video, he said in the live chat he recalled getting KFC in jail, but the chicken got cold and tough. When me in a jail, a nine piece them carry come give me finiam. Chicken get cold in the night youth. Around two o'clock we get up in the jail and yam some. My youth them tough. Come like it just come off of the ice. Prison a nice youth. So that's what he said in that live. So as it relates to the reason why he got locked up, Pops YG says it was bad man by the cops after they saw his blue plate they wanted money. He went on to highlight that he did not bathe for two days while he was in lockup. So moving on to Mr. Vegas. So according to Mr. Vegas, opposition leader Mark Golin does not have any solid plan to evaluate the country from where it is currently at. As a result, he insists that Prime Minister Andrew Holness is the right man to take the country forward. He said a twice convicted drug smuggler them take a send down a Portland and until we say we must respect 
rehabilitation. As per the veteran dancehall artist, the PMP announced attorney Isaac Buckingham as a caretaker for the Eastern Portland constituency because they wanted to distract the mass. After taking aim at several PMP members, Mr. Vegas declares that the problem is at the top of the party, pointing out that Mark Golin is not fit for the position for many reasons, including the way he dresses, highlighting a specific occasion that he was looked ragged, amongst other well-dressed men. The man go one function one day, everybody look like dignitary, the shirt not even button up good, and the shirt look like it ain't a five. <laughs> all people me have to laugh. Mr. Vegas don't easy at all people, I'm sure by no know that. So check out this full life that he said everything in. A twice convicted drug smuggler, then take us in a port and I tell we said, we must respect rehabilitation. Because of distraction, they know from, from them sending them to Portland, it's going to be big things, and we are going to debate upon it, and we are going to uh, not pay no attention to Mark Golden having no message. Distraction, people. They know that we are going to talk about Isaac Buchanan going to the port after him have two drugs conviction, you know. Drug conviction, you know, excuse me, you know. They know where to about it. You know, where I say, what kind of drug is this guy on the port where the boat them come? How we have to trust him saying that was, you know? Make the car tell them come down here. How we have to trust him? You see? Can you know that so the car tell them go down there? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what a distraction, people. Mark Golden him close the window for anybody with drug crime like Isaac Buchanan get them record expunged, you know. So if they believe in a rehabilitation, why Mark Golden close that window? You know, so you do not think. You do not think based on information say Isaac Buchanan tried to be a, 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 a JP I never did reveal him was a drug smuggler. Never made it. Never stayed on him application or whatever. Say me that drug smuggler based on information we receive. And to be a JP, you cannot have no form of them, them type of conviction. But to with them expunging conviction, how much I want to get a youth? Where they made world with a little spliff. And the six months of jail, get to know, get to know, get to know, on, on, on a record expunged. So you can't get one little visa for go a foreign. How much I want? How much I want to just live with a criminal record if you rest on your life? Don't make them trick on the people and don't get distracted. Mark Wood in, in doing everything to distract people. It's a book and it's a distraction. He can't beat and marry. Because Marie, she put it in work. Him can't beat on Marie. It's a distraction because it gives Mark Golden enough time to fool more people. To wait until something else comes up when he can run out to the media and the media is there waiting on the steps. For him to run out, run out of parliament, go up on the steps. He is a liar, when you are a liar, you have to study psychology. So that's why I know that when you talk about Juliet Olness, not supposed to be house speaker, and Olness is going to get upset. So I already know. And there goes the media already outside waiting. Why the media is always outside waiting? Why when the Jamaica Labour Party administration speaking about any policies that is benefiting the people, we can't get all of the media house them gather up one place. Why? How is it that Mark Gold is so fortunate that every time he walks out of parliament, the media is out there waiting on him?
Can I just say the question, man? Don't get distracted. And we are continuing to go up on the PMP. Well, me, me still have a pop up in the PMP vlog of them platform. And me have a go up on them timeline. If they will allow me, and me have a tell the undecided voters, then the people who still want to know the truth, say, where they must say, now make no sense. So even if they want to say, big, big artists like me, I go up on platform, yeah, because you will go on now. If five persons want to be saved, me, Harriet Tubman, I will save them. Because Harriet Tubman said she could have freed 10,000 10, more slaves, you know. But some of them never want to be freed. Know that, Bridget. Ask a PMP what are Mark Golding's policies. Then can't tell you, they might go right back to Andrew Golding's steep taxpayers' money. Ask them what, him up, what his plans are. For a better economy, them can't tell you. If you ask him about the, the, the hard program, he might go see how they implement it. You have to know these things, Virgin. The country has moved forward. The teachers have a next raise that come next year. So my UMT family, you have heard everything that Mr. Vegas had to say. Please leave your opinions in the comment section. So now we're going to move on to Bunty Killer reacting to what he said. So Mr. Vegas has been making rounds online after his latest live chat in which he expressed displeasure with the PMP and praised the JLP. Fellow DJ Bunty Killer reacted to his latest statement. So Mr. Vegas has become increasingly vocal about the political climate in Jamaica and has been speaking out against the tactics used by the PMP and the party's leader Mark Golin. So Vegas insisted that Prime Minister Andrew Holness should remain the head of Jamaica as he expressed that Golin does not have a plan to elevate the country. So that is what I was saying before. So among the individuals who reacted to Yard Hype's Instagram report and Mr. Vega's statement was Bunty Killer, who conveyed that he did not agree with his fellow dancehall artist, Janua Star. I don't know about them for come down dark. So that is what Bunty Killer said. As y'all can see, so the Benz and Bima DJ has been very vocal in the past about both political parties expressing during an interview that Jamaican speaking sides has led to the country state of the country. Like Bunty Killer, many viewers of the Instagram post did not agree with Mr. Vega's statement. Like this for example, real puppy sure Vegas turned out to be such a disappointment. People really listen to the brother. See why Bunty kill him career chat too much man. And the list goes on as y'all can see. So people really are call him a puppy show and a clone. So that's it for this video. My wonderful viewers and subscribers, please leave a like on this video and you leave your comments down in the comment section on what you think about this video and what you think about what Mr. Vega said. Should Andrew Owens still be the leader of Jamaica or should Mark Golden be the leader? So let me know what your answer is and also to subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget the post notification bell. So stay tuned for our next video.